Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my live video call or premiere and today I will be discussing with you about that pesky, nasty, ugly thing called health insurance and whether or not you actually need it and whether or not it's worth it and what are possible options uh, that you can have as well. So. Every Friday, what I what I do is I come up with a topic. Every Friday is a free Friday, so it could be anything from business to health related to whatever it is. And so today, I'm going to give a little bit of a rant about uh, insurance, and so we'll go from there. So again, my name is Chad Allen. I'm a registered nurse. Uh, by profession, I have a master's degree in nursing, uh, specializing in, in nursing informatics. So that is my specialty. Uh, but I also own my own business for a long, long, long time. Uh, I, work with, I have worked with my father when, when I was young uh, in his business. So I grew up with a business background, but also uh, also have the medical background as well. So. Insurance. So I wrote an article on my blog at chatalan.net, C H A D A L L A N.net. Uh, you can do that in the slash blog, chatalan.net slash blog, and you can see it's going to be the first article there, and, uh, and it's going to become a big thing there. So the name of the uh, article is Damned If You Do, Damned If You Don't Have Health Insurance. Because the reality of everything is that it doesn't matter if you have health insurance or don't have health insurance. You are going to be, let's just for a, try to choose a nicer word, but maybe I can't do it. You're going to be screwed <laughs> one way or the other when it comes to taking care of your health. Now, if you're a very healthy person... Uh, you might be able to get by with cheaper health care costs. But if you're someone who has um, comorbidities, who has pre-existing conditions, who has uh, whatever else is going on, you get an emergency accident, oh my goodness, you, and you don't have health insurance, even if you do have health insurance, oh my goodness, you know, you're going to be paying uh, like crazy uh, for the health care costs and health insurance. So, you know, it's my rant is that I don't understand how five, five, six, seven, eight years ago, before the Affordable Care Act came into existence, I can get health insurance for myself and three, or four others for under a thousand dollars a month. You know, that was pretty good. You know, three, four people, you and you're, you're, you're yourself, your wife. Your two children, five children, whatever, how many children you have. And it was reasonable. It wasn't like it was over, it was like so expensive. But then, when the Affordable Care Act came into existence, and they they started adding the pre-existing pre -existing conditions, which was a good, good thing. Then, all of a sudden, what happens is the health insurance costs skyrockets. Now, if I were to get health insurance, because, see, I don't... What people don't understand, because my wife is a a foreign a foreigner, she is uh, she's a permanent resident, so she's not a citizen yet, and she doesn't get to a her and myself actually because I'm also in the same boat with her because I am married and my wife is a uh, a permanent resident. I cannot get the kind of uh, access to the health care that a lot of other people would get. You know, people that would fall under the financial qualifications where they can get the assistance. Well, guess what? That doesn't, uh, 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 that's not for me, right? It, it doesn't work for me. So, I have to, but, but imagine if you were uh, somebody else. Oh my goodness, you probably get all kinds of uh, free stuff, right? But because my wife is a permanent resident, she came here legally. We we followed the law, the rules. 
so we don't get the the same benefits. And this that's basically a uh, a big rant I have too because you know, if you give it for one, then you should give give it for all. But hey, it is what it is. So even those who do qualify, are they just are they just above the financial qualification of having the assistance when it comes to uh, the Affordable Care Act? You know, you're 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 crap out of luck, and you're stuck with paying fifteen hundred dollars, two thousand dollars for a family of three or four. And how fair is that when uh, six, seven years ago it was way, way, way less? You know, for for the family. And I just don't understand why it costs so much. So I was forced to try to the, the, the find other options, the options that would really uh, benefit myself and my family. Options that I know that if I paid uh, it, it would not break the bank and it was uh, affordable. But even though I had uh, a deductible with it, it still provided a an opportunity to uh, have some form of health coverage. So I use a company called MediShare. You can actually click the, click the link in the article. Uh, but if you ever get in touch with uh, MediShare, just tell them that Chad Allen sent you and uh, they, they can help you there. So I use MediShare. MediShare is a Christian uh, health sharing ministry where they share uh, medical costs uh, for all of its members. So it's not, they, they say it's not insurance, but it acts very similar to, to insurance, but it's not quote unquote insurance because it's a ministry where it's sharing. So for that, I'm paying about $1,000 less uh, per month uh, if I were to have a conventional type insurance company where I'll be paying over $1,500 at least. And here I'm paying about 1000 less. And I'm really, really uh, happy by that because even though I have a, a higher deductible, I would, have, I would have to have a high deductible anyway with the uh, other insurance, with the insurance companies in order to uh, have a low payment. And even then, that low payment is well over $1,000. So, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, there, there you go. Now, I don't. So, why is it that insurance costs so much in America? You know, when after they uh, really, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm getting uh, political, but I, I'm just trying to, like, really understand. Like, you know, the promise was made way back in the day, right? That. When the Affordable Care Act was going to be passed, oh, everybody's going to have lower health insurance, right? And so it's, it's going to help everybody have lower health insurance. Well, it may have helped the the low income class, the class that has that doesn't make all that much money, which is good. They get the health coverage that they need, and, they, and it's important uh, for that to happen. However, those who are in the middle, those who uh, in the, they are completely stuck. They don't. It's they are they're above the the health coverage line, right? That be able to get covered uh, or without have assistance because they make too much money. But they don't make enough money in order to be able to afford uh, the kind of health insurance that they really need to take care of themselves or their family. And even if you have an employer that's paying half of the cost uh, for you, you're still stuck with paying half of that cost and the half of that cost could be the difference between putting food on the table and putting uh and making sure that uh that you have the health care coverage right so and in most cases when you have to make a choice between putting food on the table making sure that lights are on and everything or buying health care coverage that you may or may not use at that particular time you are going to choose the lights, the food, and you know the essentials of life, because technically, health insurance really isn't a an essential type of of commodity that you re, that you really need at the particular time. However, if something were to happen, it's nice to have because health care is super duper high, and at least you'll be able to. You know, have some kind of coverage and 
It way it's not going to break the bank fully out of you. But you, it can still cost you a lot of money. So, it just depends. You know, like, I'm not a fan of forcing people to have health insurance at all. And I don't like the fact that when they did force the health insurance, that uh, the cost of health insurance was, was way more than what it should have been. So, but there, like I said, there are other options that you could try. You could try uh, a Christian sharing mission. Uh, MediShare is not the only one. Although I, have in my personal opinion, I believe MediShare is the best out of all of them because the others don't have like uh, they don't work with a uh, in network, out of network uh, uh, health care, health provider, health insurance provider, where MediShare does, and the other ones are just more like. You know, if someone has a problem, you mail them a check. You know, you're mailing a check to that person. And so that, to, to, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people that do that. A lot, like hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are doing that kind of thing all the time. And it works super, super well for them. Uh, but for me, I mean, I like the ha having the consistency and knowing that at least some of it is going to be covered. And then I just pay whatever, and, and I'm okay with that. Definitely, there's other other options. Like, say you can't uh, afford health insurance, right? Or you can't afford the Medicare, or do, or can't afford to do the uh, other types of Christian sharing mission uh, missionary type stuff. Then I would suggest that you partake in what I do, and that is. Uh, part, it, taking it, uh, using in, uh, what they call it, immune molecules, immune messengers that uh, help you to build up your immune system, that help you to really have the kind of health that you need. Because what immune messengers does, it transfers immunity from one source to another, from one cell to another, and then it's going to train that cell how to have the kind of memory that it needs when uh, certain microbes and pathogens are coming in uh, attacking your body. So not only is it able to re uh, remember and have and train the memory cells uh, to remember these per these uh, particular uh, attacks, they will also be able to recognize that particular entity that is coming into the body and be able to get to it before you start having symptoms. If it's now, of course, if it's the first time that you are getting that particular virus or bacteria, then it will, uh, it was, oh, this is, uh, this is new. We need to learn this. We need to find out what's going on. And it's going to recognize, it's going to send out the, the soldiers that it needs to kill and, and, it's, and also the, the other soldiers that's going to maintain and retain that, that uh, memory of that particular virus. And then you get, then you have immunity. So, this immune message does not only help with uh, building up your immunity, but it also helps you to get well quicker. So, for example, you get a cold or you get COVID or you get whatever it is that you get. Well, guess what? When you're taking the immune messengers, because you are boosting your immune system and you're giving, and it's working with the immune, immune uh, with immunity, like the white blood cells, T cells, cytotoxic T cells, uh, nitro killer cells, all these wonderful things that are inside of your immune system. Well, guess what? It's going to be able to attack and destroy that virus or bacteria quickly so that your symptoms, if you have symptoms, would not last as long. This is why people who have pneumonia or people who get a cold, their symptoms tend to be a lot less with immune messengers and it tends to be over very quickly. So, but it also depends how much you take too. So, if you're taking very minimal, then, you know, you're not going to have as quick of a result but you still have results but if you are taking the right amount what you need to be taking for that particular illness boom it's going to take care of that issue for you uh very very nicely so so that's some other options that i really believe that you can that you have uh in your belt and my, I wouldn't really encourage you to, yeah, it's important. Is it important to have insurance? Yes, it's important to have insurance. Is it important to uh, save up for medical emergencies? Yes, it's also very important to save up for medical emergencies. You really should be setting aside uh, some income 
in order to take care of this emergency, especially if you don't have insurance, you really need to put aside and start saving money so that if there, if there is a medical emergency that does take place, that you'll be able to take care of the issue rather quickly. But if not, then of course you, the money's there, right? So it's up to you what you do. And I hope that uh, you that you found this uh, to be very, very helpful. Again, you go to my, my blog at chatalan.net, C-H-A-D-A-L-L-A-N.net. And you can get my freebie there as well. So chatalan.net slash freebie or you get uh, if you want to become a business partner of mine which i would love love to have you and we can work together to be successful my my you can check out my um my free business guide uh, that talks about why it's important to own a business uh for as a hedge against economic uncertainty and you can get that at chatalan.net slash five dash reasons r-e-a-s-o-n-s -E and so i thank you for being on the video call tonight and i will certainly talk to you much much later oh one more thing uh if you're on youtube you can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash team chad allen and then if you're on my youtube channel uh be sure to subscribe as well and if you're listening to this particular video on uh, through the article itself, uh, there's a way that you can subscribe. You'll see my face on the right side. Just click on that uh, on my image, and then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so there's a lot that you can do. So again, chatallen.net. C H A D A L L A N dot net slash freebie F R E E B I E or chatallen dot net slash or that or slash five dash reasons R E A S O N S. I thank you again for being on the on this call and we will talk to you Monday, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday at eight PM and together we can make a difference. So thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.